it's 744. Hurricane season is underway, and while many people are preparing their homes to ensure they're hurricane proof, it's also important to review your finances. And joining us now is certified public accountant Kimberly Washington to share some tips on that. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right. The first thing, review your insurance policies. Right. Review your insurance policies. Right now is a good time to talk with an agent and just ask questions. What am I covered for? Do I need special insurance, especially for things like antiques and firearms and things of that nature? You want to make certain that you have proper insurance. Review the deductibles. Review the deductibles yeah. because deductibles, remember, we have hurricane deductibles, name storm deductibles. So you want to know what amount are those deductibles. And then you have your regular deductibles. So are they affordable? So that's what the questions that you want to ask right now. And again, it takes 30 days sometimes for these things to kick in. Right. So now's the time. So after a storm, you're not left with nothing. Right. You need to do it today and just make certain that you have both homeowners insurance and flood insurance because of course we saw after Katrina that many people didn't have both policies. And your jewelry, do you need different insurance for that or can it just be tacked onto your homeowners? That's insurance? why you really need to call and ask those questions depending on what type of jewelry you have, depending on what type of coverage that you're looking for. You want to make certain you reach out to them. All right. Get a to-go system. Yes. Uh, what's that? I say get a to-go system. I always talk about this. It's just something that you can grab and go. I have a great checklist on my website and it's just items that you may need like your insurance documents, also wheels, uh, different things like tax returns. People don't think about that but if you have to relocate you may need your school records for your kids and all of these things to get started again. So have these things in place right now so you can just simply grab it and go. Social security cards, birth right. certificates, passports, That's correct. all that sort of stuff you need for the grab and go. Yes. What about keeping some cash on hand? Keeping cash on hand is very important important. After Hurricane Katrina, one of the things that I ran into, I went to the ATM and I was looking to get some cash before we evacuated. However, I was unable to do so because I banked locally with a credit union and their systems were down. So one of the things that you want to make certain that you do is you want to make certain that you have some cash on hand so that you can get your money and just kind of have it ready just in case because you may need it if you evacuate. Yeah, those uh, credit cards or those debit cards not just that your bank may not work, but everything will shut down That's during that time. That's correct. And you also want to look at your finances too as well. This is a good time to start saving some money and protecting your credit score. Continue to monitor your credit score throughout the year to make certain that it's in a good place. You can use many monitoring systems like Credit Sesame and all of these great places so that way you can make certain that your credit is doing okay. And you don't know how long you're going to be out of pocket, so have some little emergency money on hand right. so you can link into that. Yes. Kimberly Washington, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Hopefully everyone will put their plan into action. Yes, right you got to do it today. All right. <laughs> thanks a lot. Well, time now for a check of the forecast.